97.9, The Loop, and The Maxwell Show. Joining us right now on the phone, we'll go ahead and call you Joe. How are you, man? I'm doing okay, Maxwell. How are you doing? I'm fantastic, man. It is an odd jobs week here on The Maxwell Show. Your official title is what? Uh, service technician. Service technician for portalettes. Yes, for porta potties. I guess first question is, how'd you get into this gig? Was it an apprenticeship, or how do you how do you do that? Um, it's actually really simple. I just I had a uh, CDL license to drive the truck and managed to get the job. They start you out seasonal, you kick some butt, you end up full time. So you drive around town with the portalettes. Do you move the portalettes? Do you remove the waste with it? Walk me through the day to day of being a porta potty maintenance man. Well, most of my routes are uh, Wrigleyville area. Um, okay. I do I do a lot of construction sites. It's pretty much uh, home building, large buildings. In the downtown area, we do a lot of the large buildings. Uh, my company serviced uh, Trump Tower when okay. they were building that out there. And uh, basically, we just take the big old pumper truck with a tanker on the back, uh, go out there and pump out the, the, the waste from the tank. And then uh, fill it back up with the chemical, the blue chemical that okay. everybody knows so well. Uh, wash down the walls, sanitize it, that kind of thing. Like you would clean your own bathroom, only I'm doing it with a truck. Todd Jobs Week here on the Maxwell Show. We're talking to Joe, who is a porta potty service uh, technician. You have a wife or girlfriend? Uh, I currently have a girlfriend, and thankfully an ex-wife. Uh, okay. <laughs> does she uh, does she freak out when you come home from work? Does she make you shower? Is it one of those things where she's like, you've been hauling like crap, so she she wants you to shower? Does she care? Like, what's the? Well, she's actually very understanding. Um, but I've I've figured this. I've been doing this gig for a little while, and uh, I, I walk into my house every day through the garage. And then uh, I have a spot where I stand right by the door that connects into the house, and I take off all my clothes right there. Who washes the poo clothes? Uh, well, I wash the poo clothes, although um, I, I don't. It's a matter of choice. My company does offer a uh, a service. They have a, like a standard uniforms. We can turn them in. They give them back to us in about a week. Okay. Uh, wondering, is your gig a union job? Uh, yeah, actually, yes, we are. We are members of the Teamsters Union. Uh, okay. The Gary local, actually. Okay. Now back to the, uh, the, uh, the 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 washing of the clothes when you're done with the job. Is it just like standard throw it in the washing machine with a little bit of uh, ALL all, or uh, do you have to do something a little heavier? Well, you know what? I have. Uh, I go to Costco. I buy the concentrated stuff that uh -huh. you would normally use with uh, the high efficiency washers and stuff, and then I use a lot of it. Okay. <laughs> that's my that's my way of doing it. Now, the most of the guys in the company, uh, well, I'd say a lot of them, not most of them, but they opt into the uh, the company's way of doing it. And I'm not entirely sure what they do. I imagine they got a bigger process than I do. How long, how many times do you actually wear one of those uniforms? i got to imagine the recycle rate on those is pretty high. Uh, you know, I they they get damaged before they actually become uh Unsanitary, let me ah, say it okay. that way. We work real hard. I mean, I'm using a I'm using a three foot long wand on the hose, so I mean, I, it's not like I'm getting the stuff on me. I'm not in there with a shovel. Okay, so I, I'm not in there digging around in it. So right. it doesn't what typically is, get on you. What's the worst thing you've seen come out of there? For me, the uh, the worst for me, honestly, is when the uh, is when the uh, I don't know how to say this, when the homeless get in there. They leave a lot of stuff in there, and we're talking. Everything, from food to clothes to oh, whatever. Oh, really? Yeah, you name it. I, I, I get it. And that's when I do, unfortunately, have to get in there and start digging things out because the oh. truck can't pull clothing out of there, you know? Ooh. Okay, so, so that, when that happens, is there a hazmat suit? Is there, you know, elbow-length gloves? Or, like, what's the deal? What, like, tools? How does that... Yeah, we have uh, we use chemical gloves. Okay. So we, we we don't touch anything with our bare hands for the most part. So um, yeah, we got chemical gloves, and you know uh, per, what I personally do is I actually use the suction hose, and I'll pick it up with the suction hose and drop it inside a trash can or something. Okay. You know? Right on. So, um, yeah, that there, and uh, aside from that, it's just you know the kids and loving to tip the darn things over. That's always fun. Oh sure, okay, so that yeah. does happen. Still happens. Oh, kids more still than do you that. Handle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, typically it takes me about three minutes. From the time I pull up my truck to the time I leave doing one porter, John, uh, tip over. You're talking twenty. Oh, so, yeah, that's awesome. Well, thanks so much, Joe. I appreciate you uh, taking some time with us here on Odd Jobs Week. Hey, all right, you guys take it easy now. Take care, bye. Take care, thanks. Joe. All right, thank you. Bye. -bye. All right, tomorrow on uh, Odd Jobs Week, we talk to a guy who will.